Manipulation in relationships can take many forms, but one common tactic is the use of alternating insults and rewards. The perpetrator will regularly engage in hurtful behavior, such as belittling their partner, criticizing them, or ignoring their needs. However, they will also occasionally do something kind or give their partner positive attention, creating a cycle of abuse. Here are some examples of how a manipulator might use alternating insults and rewards in a relationship. 1. Criticizing their partner in public, but then buying them a gift to apologize for their behavior. 2. Ignoring their partner's calls or texts for days, but then showering them with affection when they finally do respond. 3. Putting their partner down in front of others, but then apologizing and saying they were just joking. 4. Refusing to listen to their partner's concerns or needs, but then being overly attentive and affectionate when they are feeling vulnerable. 5. Sabotaging their partner's plans or goals, but then offering support and encouragement when they are struggling. In each of these examples, the manipulator is using their words or actions to control and manipulate their partner. The victim may feel confused and unsure of how to react and may find themselves constantly trying to please the manipulator in order to avoid their abuse. This can lead to feelings of anxiety, low self-esteem, and even trauma. This cycle can be incredibly damaging to the victim as they become trapped in a state of constant uncertainty and anxiety. They may find themselves constantly trying to please the perpetrator in the hopes of avoiding their abuse or clinging to the hope that the kind behavior will return and the relationship will improve. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy, low self-esteem, and even trauma. There is scientific evidence to support the idea that this type of manipulation can have a serious impact on the victim's mental health. A study published in the Journal of Social and Clinical Psychology found that individuals in abusive relationships were more likely to experience depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. Another study, published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, found that victims of abuse were more likely to have difficulty making decisions and were more prone to anxiety and depression. This cycle of abuse is often compared to the behavior of slot machine players. Just as the manipulator uses intermittent rewards to keep their victim hooked, slot machines use intermittent reinforcement to keep players engaged. The unpredictable nature of when a reward will be given is what keeps players coming back, even when the chances of winning are low. In both cases, the victim becomes trapped in a cycle of hope and disappointment. They become addicted to the possibility of receiving a reward, even if it means risking their own well-being. This can lead to serious negative consequences, including financial ruin in the case of slot machine addiction and physical and emotional harm in the case of manipulative relationships. It is important to recognize the signs of manipulation and abuse in a relationship and to seek help if you or someone you know is in an unhealthy situation. Support from friends, family, and professional therapists can be invaluable in breaking free from the cycle and finding healthy, fulfilling relationships.